Hey everybody, Bayzad here, back again with another fade review. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the most faded pairs of jeans in our archive, the Vulgar Selvage. This pair has been worn for one year straight with one wash and one of the most extreme transformations I've ever seen. As you can see, these jeans have lost a lot of indigo. Stay tuned till the end to see how these compare to a brand new pair. The creases are quite pronounced with a lot of contrast. This is exactly the kind of fade you'll achieve when you wear your jeans for a long time between washing. I really like how the fabric has worn on exactly the same spot on both pockets. The waist button is starting to show signs of wear. If you look closely, you'll notice some oxidization rubbing off around the buttonhole. The belt loops have faded quite a bit. Notice the contrast along the stitches. You'll also notice the waistband is slightly darker than the rest of the denim, likely as a result of wearing a belt. Here we have the leather patch. On the original Vulgar Selvage, we used a pigskin, which is very supple and thin, but as you can see here, it is held up quite well and patinaed beautifully. You can still make out the embossing perfectly. As we make our way down the jeans, you'll notice the vertical kind of flamey streaks throughout the fabric. This is the effect achieved by the use of short slub yarns on the exterior warp. Unlike big slub yarns, short slub yarns don't produce an extremely textured denim. The knee fades here are really impressive. Notice the tearing on the creases. This is a classic sign of jeans being worn for a prolonged period of time without wash. Here's a close-up where you can really see the effect that the short slub yarn has on this denim. The back pockets are really worn out here. It looks like a mix of hard work and tons of fading. The denim could probably use another wash. That's the thing with a dirty pair of jeans. Sometimes the buildup also tells its own story. Considering how hard these were worn in, we only have a few small holes on the back, and the crotch is holding up perfectly. No blowouts or anything. These honeycomb fades behind the knees are, well, perfection. There's so much going on here. The creases are pronounced and they have tons and tons of contrast. These breaks in the fabric are again a result of wearing your jeans for too long without a wash. At the cuffs, we've got a lot going on. The jeans were worn cuffed and you'll notice the damage around the fold. It also looks like the jeans were worn long, as evidenced by the stacking fades. You'll also notice the beautiful roping effect around the chain stitch hem. Here's a close-up of the selvage ID with the naughty words woven right in. Here we've got the vulgar selvage compared to a brand new pair of the vulgar selvage 3. The fabrics are identical with the vulgar selvage 3 containing a new set of naughty words. Words which I can't say here on YouTube, but I've got a link to the product in the description below. But the Vulgar Selvage 3 has a bovine leather patch instead of a pigskin. For those wondering, yes, the floors of our office are made out of raw denim. We should do a fade review on our floors at some point. And that's it for this fade review. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let me know what jeans you'd like us to feature in the next video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.